Hi. So today we are going to solve one more uh, coding question. I am Mamta. I'm the co-founder and mentor at Trapbyte. So I'll be solving question with you. So as I say that, uh, when I'm saying I'll be solving question with you, so I don't want you to just watch the video. I want you to solve the question along with the uh, video. I want that if I give a question, pause the video, understand that what is the question all about. Or for that matter, if I give you a hint in between uh, that how to solve, take that hint and try the question again. And if you are not able to solve and you are stuck, then obviously you can just take help from the video. So from here, we'll start with solving a problem. We'll go through the logic and then we will eventually go on to write the code. So let's get started. So the question that we are going to solve today is that I'll write it here. Take an integer as input from the user and print last digit quotes last digit of that number or integer so i'll give an example so let's say you have taken integer from the user 456 okay i missed the 4 4567 right so in 4, 5, 6, 7, what is the last digit? Last digit is 7. Right? So one taking one more example. So let's say the user has given an input 4. So since 4 is the only number, so the last digit will be 4. For that matter, for 43, last digit will be 3. So this is what you have to do today. So you have to take an integer as input from the user. Whatever integer the user gives as input, you have to print the last digit. So I want you to first try the problem. If you're not able to do it, I'll give you a hint. Okay, so I'll give you a hint now. Hope you have tried. So the hint is that what you have to do is you have to divide the numbers by such a number such that you get the remainder as the last digit okay so seems like a puzzle so what you have to do is let's say four five six seven is the number so what you have to do is divide four five six seven i don't know why i always miss four so divide four five six seven by x you have to find x here such that the remainder is Seven. In case of 43, also you have to do the same thing. Divide 43 by x such that remainder is 3. So obviously this x, x is going to be same in all the cases. So you have to fun, find one, one universal number x such that whatsoever number you divide by x you divide 4 5 6 7 you divide 6 8 9 you divide 89 you divide 90 you divide 9 whatsoever number you divide by this number x you will always get the remainder as the last digit so in this case if you divide 4 5 6 7 by x you will get the remainder as last digit so still till now we are not doing any coding we're just trying to find the maths behind this so we are trying to find that using which number should I divide 4, 5, 6, 7 or 43 such that I get the last digit. So I want you to give it a try and then come back to this video. So I hope you found out that what is the number. If you haven't, let's try it. So let's say I divide 4, 5, 6, 7 by 10. So what will be the remainder? Okay, so one more thing I would like to uh, tell you guys here. So this is the modulo operator that I'm using to show the remainder so this is the modulo operator so if you guys not aware of the modulo operator i will quickly tell you what modulo operator is so modulo operator basically gives you the remainder so if you divide any number uh, what is the modulo operator gives is the remainder so if for that matter let's say i divide 4 5 6 7 by 10 okay let me do this if i divide 4 5 6 7 by 10 what do I get? I get 456 as quotient and I get 7 as the remainder. Let me take one more number. So let's say I divide 43 by 10. I get 43 as quotient 
and I get sorry I get 4 as quotient I'm so sorry I get 4 as quotient and I get 3 as the remainder so in C C++ or Java we have two operators one is the division operator and one is the modular operator so in case you're not very much clear about the difference between the two so we, uh, I want you to do the exercise that I'm going to do so what you need to do is you need to write a program in your program what will you do you will just have four print 456 by 10 and you will print 456 mod 10 so if you print 456 by 10 you get the output as 45 and if you do something like 456 modulo 10 you get the output as 6 so again in real life if you divide 456 by 10 you get 45 as quotient I'm always messing up the spelling of quotient and I'm getting 6 as remainder so the division operator that we have here this is the division operator and this is the modulo operator so this division operator gives me this quotient or quotient and this modulo operator gives me the remainder so going back to from where we started I wanted you to divide 4 5 6 7 or the number by x such that the remainder is 7 so if you can see here if I'm dividing 4 5 6 7 by 10 my remainder is 7 if I divide 43 by 10 my remainder is 3 and if I divide 456 by 10 my remainder is 6 so as you can see here that if you divide any number by 10 you get the remainder as the last digit so this was the solution that if you divide any number by 10 you have to you'll be getting the last digit as the output now I want you to write the code for printing the last digit of the number so if I put it in this way that you write in uh, you know write a code to print last digit of a number or you write a code I'll reframe this write a code to print remainder of a number when divided by 10 divided by 10 so both are having the same code it's just that these are two different problem statements so let's try and write the code for this so we'll have in main we'll take a variable num where we are going to store the input from the user we have scanner person d and num let's say i have one more variable last digit so i'll be storing the last digit in this so i can directly print also but i'll, I'll prefer to store it and then print so i'll do last digit is equal to num mod 10 and if you print this last digit you get the output obviously as the last digit and I return so that was a small quote for this so now uh, you know when you go further you will be getting lots of question around this you'll be getting question like find the sum of digits find the reverse of digit so this particular concept you know that you when you divide by 10 what you get and when you uh, divide by 10 what is the quotient that you get and what is the remainder that you get this particular concept is going to help you in solving lots of questions so as per the rule i will also write the c plus plus syntax here so we will be doing here c num this will remain same this print out print out print f will change to c out right so i'll simply c out last digit in case of java we have scanner first we have to make the object of scanner and then what we have to do is we have to take sc dot next int to get the integer right and for printing I simply write system dot out dot print ln last digit okay 
so that was the code hope you remember this concept and uh, let's take an example and run this code so uh, let's say the user inputs num as uh, 78 okay so let's say the user inputs number as 78 and if i divide 78 by 10 i get my quotient as 7 and remainder as 8 so this code gives me the right answer so i want you guys to try this on your own so it might happen that uh, i'm telling you something that's incorrect so it's uh, really necessary that you go and try it by yourself to see that whatever is getting taught is right or wrong so that was all for today uh, keep practicing bye bye